All right, well, we are kicking off the book of James and I'm gonna spend just a little bit of time to give you some intro and some background and a couple things to chew on. And strangely enough, I am in Silicon Valley this week and I'm working with just some different organizations. We get together every so often and talk about different hot topics, you know. Um, this, this week was about culture and culture in our workplace and things like that is always very interesting um, and of course Silicon Valley if you follow the news um, and a lot of other large areas uh, are struggling kind of with that diversity and inclusion piece and a lot of people are speaking up and different things going on about equality and uh, oddly enough I think it kind of relates back to our, our study a little bit because I want to point out something and that's that each of the different writers of the Bible, they all have different personalities. They all have different approaches, but yet at the same time, it all complements each other. And that's a beautiful thing because we know God orchestrated that. We know that's inspired of him, that we can be individuals and we can take different perspectives, but they all align to the character and who, and who God is. So we, if you look at the um, different New Testament books, especially, you know, Paul sets forth primarily the gospel for the Gentiles. And then we're going to learn in James, like he's really speaking to the Jewish people. And then if you think about Peter, he kind of represents the, the bridge between the two. And then John and James... Um, they really think about the aspect of just the universality of Christianity. So everybody has kind of this, this different approach and different perspective, but it's all under the headship of Christ. And we need each of those perspectives, right? Everybody has a little bit different slant. Like Paul, Paul is the apostle of faith. James, he's the apostle of works. Um, Peter, he's the apostle of hope. John is apostle of love. And Jude, he's the apostle of the defense of the faith. And we can't, you know, carve someone out, right? So we can't read James and just think about works, right? James was written not to contradict, but to complement Paul's writings, Right, So they both talk about same things just in different manners. And we need all those aspects. That's why it's so important that we study the full counsel of God. Because if we just study James, we would only think about works. If we just studied Paul, we would only think about faith. And so we need everybody's perspective. We all are woven into this story. And you are too. You think about that for your own life. Think about... People around you, people in your sphere of influence, they need you. They need the uniqueness and the personality and the perspective that you bring. And then you need someone else. And you need to make sure your sphere of influence is diverse, right? That it's got different perspectives, different approaches, different backgrounds, different socioeconomic levels. Because from that, we derive perspective and truth and we begin to sharpen one, in, one another and we need to be open to that I mean we need to be absolutely convinced and knowing that this is the word of God it's infallible this is his character this word is inspired by him and even though everybody comes to the table and pins it in a different personality or a different take it's all facets of who God is just like you are a reflection of his glory so are these books so enjoy that and remember that as we study James which is about spiritual maturity and about and about works that we need to balance that with what we've learned in Ruth and in, with Paul and the prison epistles. All of that's got to come together and be molded and created in and through our lives. So I'm excited about this. Um, study hard, be intentional, discipline yourself to be in the word and to allow God to speak to you personally, intimately, and watch what he will do in and through you.